the hell does that say? Welcome to the live, blah, blah, whatever. Okay. Uh, what the hell, cameras? It's... Please turn around. Okay, I wanted to put something out on the channel, a shave. I wanted to do it quickly, and I didn't want to mess around, so I figured this was the fastest way. So, um, I need to get going. Uh, so I put on this Red Can Bruise Brushless Latherless Cream as a pre-shave. I just had a shower. Uh, you never... Oh, I'm doing this Sinatra Lennon thing. You get to see, uh, you get to see my manly physique. Anyway, um, so... I want to do this really fast. I want to try to do one pass only. And I'm going to use a shaving cream, or sh sorry, a shaving soap that I know has worked really well for me under trying conditions. Ooh, it's nice and warm. So this is the shaving cream that I used. Sorry, it's soap. This is what I used when I was on my cottage trip and when I went on to ver into various locations, which those videos should be coming out pretty soon. Got to do some more editing. They, they might be a little bit long. But, you know, you can always skip through parts. But they will be more than just shaving. They'll show some show, shots of, like, you know, a little bit of hiking, a little bit of the surrounding area, a little bit of canoeing, a little bit of the inside of a cottage, you know, what have you. Um, oh, the reason this is so warm is because I have a makeshift, I don't know if you want to call, call it a or, scuttle or not, a ceramic bowl with hot water in it, my Turkish copper bowl sitting on top of it. It stays nice and warm for a long time. Um, but I don't need to do that anymore because that water in the bowl is now going to become my rinse water. Um, so... I'm going to use my Pearl SSH05 with a, uh, this will be the second use of a Gillette 7 o'clock super stainless blade. And I'm just going to get into it. Uh, this razor is fairly mild, very efficient. It's a lot like a Mercury 35, no, Mercury 34C, but it's somehow more efficient. Uh, there's, I did a video about it at some point comparing the two. And well, actually, just about this razor, but actually comparing the head design. I did some close-ups of the head, showing the the way the um, the get what the gap looked like with the blade in it. Um, so anyway, this is the absolute fastest way for me to do a video because there's no editing required. There's no right. It just goes out there immediately. This razor is surprisingly efficient. Surprisingly inexpensive, if you can find it. That's the problem. It's a pearl razor. It's made in India. A lot of pearl razors are sold in, like, you know, a lot of my audience is North America, right? A lot of pearl razors are sold in North America, but I've never seen this one. I actually ordered this one with a big order I had got from Turkey. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. This shave with it will be much better than the last one because I've gotten a lot better at managing pressure. I'm not necessarily doing zero pressure this time, but it's probably a lot less than what I used to use on a regular basis. Man, I really like these Gillette 7 o'clock Super Stainless Blades. This 
smooth and very sharp. Um, I think I like them a lot better than Astra Superior Platinums. And they're, you know what? They're very sharp, but they also are not like crazy aggressive. I also wanted to say that um, I'm going to do a giveaway probably Monday using the, my Henson money. <laughs> um, so I got, for everybody that made use of the blade deal that I had on my Henson videos, I got five bucks. But they're like individual credit cards. But I will, what I'll do is I've been basically loading them up, on, them up onto a rechargeable Amazon gift card for myself. Uh, where else do I want to go? Anywhere? Any? You know what? Nope. You know, I'll do a little bit here. That was a that was a really good first pass. Really good. I'm super surprised by how efficient this razor is. I'm gonna try this. We'll see what happens. Yep. Nice. I wanted to try the short stroke. <laughs> As I was saying, one of my probably one of probably one of my my first boss in my real first real job had a saying where he said if he wanted to know the status of something like, oh, where are we in that project? And he'd say, oh, we're down to the short strokes. <laughs> so interpret that how you will. All right, just a little bit here. That's it. Shave is done. So, uh, giveaway Monday. Um, you know what? I want to try to get to 200 subscribers. Um, so, here's, here's the deal. If I get 200 subscribers by end of day, Monday, August 22nd, and end of day I'm defining as what I look on Tuesday morning. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, I will do the giveaway. And I will, I will, I will do it on Tuesday's video, um, and it will be weighted. I'm not saying how, but uh, long time, uh, long time um, subscribers and frequent commenters on past videos will be uh, more heavily represented in the, in the drawing pool. Okay, so what did I use? Uh, Red Can Brews um, Lavalous Brushless Shaving Cream as a pre-shave. Um, I like this stuff actually. Uh, it's got a nice cedar scent. It goes with the balm I usually use. Oh, man, that shave is actually very smooth. Um, what else? Oh, uh, Cottage Trip videos coming out this weekend, likely. I'm, I think I may do like a what, what do you call it when you got four movies being released on, or you go to the movie theater, it's Saturday, it's the budget theater, and you get to see four movies for the price of one. That's what it will be. Man, that razor is actually really good, and I feel nothing but normal tingling. Um... So dump that. Sorry, I, I, if there's been anything in the chat, I haven't really been looking because I got to get out of here. Um, and at this point, I'm really just dragging it out. 
Um, but, you know, just talking, uh, <laughs> um, I'll probably save most of the cleanup for later. But, um, yeah, I really just wanted to put something out this morning. And this is easily the most efficient way to do it. Um, oh, the soaps. So I wanted to tell you what's in here. So I'm using this super handy Arco container. Um, but what's in here is a combination of four different Sterling soaps. Um, there's Varin and uh, Scott's Pine Sheep, both are both of which are sheep tallow based. And then there's also uh, Sterling Coniferous. And those are like, you know, equal amounts. Let's say there's 30% each in here. And then there's like a 10% contribution from Sterling Gatlinburg. And then a little bit of my Magic Blue um, oil, DIY pre-shave oil, is not mixed in. Anyway, I am done. End of stream. Thank you if you actually watched at this point. Um, this will go on later as video on demand. Thanks. Oh, uh, one blade, no pressure, quality leather, deft hand, be smart. Thanks. This is the way. Thanks. Bye. Where the hell is the stop on this thing? I had this problem last time. Oh, there it is. Bye. Ready all backwards. End it. End it now.